Hey everyone, it's Marco here and welcome to the second part of this two-part video tutorial where I'll be covering the Plus UI home screen. Now in part one, I covered exactly how to set the wallpaper as well as the lightning launcher layout options. And in this part, I'll be covering how to add in widgets as well as some few more lightning launcher tips and tricks. So if you haven't watched part one, I highly recommend that you do watch it because otherwise you'll have no idea what's going on as I'll be pretty much following on where part one had finished. So let us begin with part two of this tutorial. Boom. Great. So to add in each one of the page widgets, you want to hold down, you want to select add and you want to go app widget. Now, if you want to add in one of those cool looking Google Plus boxes, then you want to pretty much be adding in desktop visualizers for each one of those. Now I can't really say what exact size to be using as you're going to be resizing them accordingly. So if I just say go for a 3x3 three three for now, do not worry though you can still resize it later. If you hold down on it, remember that will allow you to reposition it and then these little boxes can resize it. But don't worry about that for now, we're just going to be selecting back now so that you go out of your edit layout and now you want to, and now you simply just want to tap it. From here you want to change your select icon, you want to select image file. You want to select gallery and you pretty much want to select one of these that were found in your widgets folder that you've copied onto your phone and you can choose whichever one you want. So if you're going for your home screen, let's make it the dialer one for now. We're going to be selecting dialer and your action. You want to select launch application and you want to be selecting the application that you'd want to open. If for example, you want to open up a folder instead when selecting this, then I'd recommend going for semi folder as you can pretty much add in anything you want into semi folder and it works really really well. So for phone you're going to be selecting phone, remember to clear the label and to take off that touch effect make it none. You're going to be selecting OK, remember to get back into that edit screen again we want to hold down on the home screen and say select or edit layout. So now by tapping on that desktop visualizer it'll enable you to resize it like that. Another thing to remember if you select hold down and you say edit layout and say for example your screen ends up like that, you get back into edit layout and you just simply move it and get it to the way you want it. Of course you might want to just make this little list here on the side here a bit smaller so it doesn't take up too much space. And then we have our first one complete. If you just want to do that again, as you can see I've just added in the messaging one and as you can see it's scrolling like this but you don't want this list to be scrolling because if you scroll it up like that and you select something it will not go to that page. But don't worry about that for now as we'll be heading off to our UCCW widgets and we'll come back to that. Great so for our UCCW widgets you want to be holding down on the home screen, you want to select add and you want to select app widget and you want to be going to your UCCW widget. Now if you have a Galaxy S3 I recommend using the author's skins that he's provided called top bar left and top bar right and you want to be adding in a 2x1 skin for each one of those. If you have no idea how to use UCCW, remember we've got our tutorials on the, our YouTube channel. But now because I'm using a Nexus 4, I created my own top bar skin basically for this and I made it a 5x2. Great, so what I've simply done to this modified version is added in the top bar and just added in a white block to it. Now why do you want to add a white block to it? Well, when you're going to be scrolling up and down like this, you want it to basically go underneath that white box giving you that sliding transition. So remember if you've got an, a Galaxy S3 you're going to be adding in your cover left and cover right skins as well as your top bar over that. And then next what we want to do is add in the arrow on the side here that's going to be pointing to whatever page you are on. So you just want to be adding in a one by one UCCW and you want it to be the arrow.uzip and it's going to go yes if you've already imported it. So there it is, I've just added it to pointing it to home. So now it comes to pinning widgets or applications or whatever you want to not move. Now to pin a object, you want to hold down on it and select pin. It might jump it around a bit, but you just simply need to add it back and there it is stuck for life. You're going to be doing the same for this little arrow here as well, you select pin, it might jump around. Now you want to be doing the same for this list over here. You want to select it and then say pin. It might jump it around, put it back to the way it was. Great, so what you want your final result to be is that when you scroll this, as you can see, it goes underneath the top bar basically and everything else stays the same. It's actually quite magical. 
And then one thing to remember for your UCCW widgets, you wanna be adding in the missed calls for your dialer over here and then your missed messages over here as it just adds to the whole Google Plus effect. Also remember to turn on your hotspots modes for UCCW. You wanna select whatever skin you're on and you wanna select lock widgets and then on. This turns on hotspots mode just so when you wanna to get to the time quickly, just selecting that will bring up your clock or whatever you want. Remember, if you don't like that, you're welcome to add a desktop visualizer over that if you don't like that blue effect that it launched, that it brings up. And there we have one screen complete. Now, it does sound like quite a hassle, but like I said, if you wanna to go to your next one, this one is games, for example. All you have to do is look for a blank space on the home screen, select customize lightning, go to your current screen. You just need to go load a style, select your whichever one you've called it it says style loaded so you don't need, don't need to worry about changing any of your grid sizes and then just going back and as you can see just remember to select back to get out of your edit menu and it's pretty much just like that remember to lock anything that you don't want to move and then when it comes to your list over here that you want to make fully transparent you just want to hold down on it again you want to select customize select more se select the little plus button and make that transparency zero go okay and go back and as you can see it makes it invisible remember we made that list just so if you want to select home it will then once you select it it'll jump to the home just like that when it comes to your settings page you just need to add in your desktop visualizers like this and i just use widget soy to add in a one by one and pretty much just disabled your background your indicator everything just so it'll your icon and as you can see, it gives you that really great effect for turning on different settings. Now, I'd say the only downside of this home screen is its lag. Yes, this home screen has quite a lag, especially with your Nexus 4. Now, this isn't experienced in a Galaxy S3, but it is in this Nexus 4. So if you're using a Nexus 4, be warned, this might not turn out too well for you. But if you're running a rooted one, it might just work. And that's pretty much the home screen set up. These other widgets, such as Iron Sky Weather, is pretty easy to, to add in. You just hold down and select Add and select App Widget. This one is just Iron Sky with the icons on Yao and the text color black. So just going OK, we'll set it up easy as that. And then same goes for your Gmail. It's pretty much also easy to add in. All you have to do is just add in your Gmail widget and it pops up like this. And like I said, here is for Simi folder. Selecting it will pop up for files that you need. And if you ever get stuck, remember to use your two fingers to scroll between pages. If your list gets somehow vanished or you don't know what to do, remember you can either just push your menu button to get back to your home screen or using two fingers just sliding across will bring you to your next screen. Just like that, getting back, there's our home screen like that. As you can see, that's what a UCCW skin of a Miss Calls will look like. And there we have our home screen complete. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below or even our My Color Screen forum. That is great for topics like this. If you have any problems regarding what type of phone you have, different types of grid sizes, etc. Thank you very much guys for watching. Sorry if it was a very long video, but this is such an epic home screen. I give major credit to anyone that can reproduce this home screen. As you can see, I got quite close. So. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And yeah, don't stop customizing. Mm -hmm.